Hi friends, I am Sunil, working as BSNL JE. Welcome to BSNL JE 2016 exam preparation. Here in this video, I am going to discuss digital techniques remaining topics. Digital techniques remaining topics. Here uh, the topic is encoder. Encoder. En encoder. What is encoder? Encoder is nothing but it is a device which converts active input signal of decimal or any alpha numeric characters into into output signal into output signals of uh, coded signal into coded signal there are nothing but uh, binary into coded signal that means encoder which converts input into coded input signal into coded signal any input signal into coded signal that's why the name as encoder in enable that means encoder it gives coded output it gives coded output okay for this uh, you know, it has n it has number of input lines it has m input lines and n output lines okay so by uh, using m inputs it gives in bit output code in bit output code here uh, uh, for in for inputs only one only one input is high at a time only one input is a high at a time and it will uh, it will produce output for that okay that is output is coded form that means in binary form in case of decoder 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 means as name itself it decodes that means it converts coded form to normal form coded form to any binary or numeric alpha numeric form that means it has uh, the decoder has n inputs n inputs and m outputs for in case of encoder in m inputs only one is high at a time in case of uh, here the output the uh, only one output is high at a time okay that uh, and once again encoder converts any form to binary or uh, coded form decoder decodes it decodes that means it converts coded form to normal form for decoder n number of input lines has 2 power n number of output lines that means if it has uh, n number of input lines the output lines are 2 power n for example two input lines it has a uh, 2 power 2 2 square that is equal to four output lines for three input lines it has eight output lines okay coming to some example problem whichever very important for all the psus how many 2 to 4 decoders required to construct 5 to 32 decoder how many 2 to 4 decoders required to construct 5 to 32 decoders for this a simple technique is a simple technique is divided divide this 32 by 4 that means maximum the output that is here 32 by 4 that equal to 8 so number of lines required are 8 uh, and again divided by 4 then the number of decoders are 2 again divided by 4 that is 1 so the total 8 plus 2 plus 1 that is 11 so 11 decoders are required required to construct 5 to 32 decoder and the levels required are three levels levels required are three levels very very important for all the psus okay if you ask three to eight decoders three to eight decoders that means in case of three to eight decoders divide 32 with uh, eight divide the uh, 32 with eight okay likewise we can solve any of the problems of this type okay next one multiplexers very very important multiplexers is also called as mux it means as name itself multiplexing multiplexes that means uh, multi uh, many many inputs many inputs and one output so that means it is called as a many to one circuit many to one circuit for this two number two power n inputs and we have only one outputs by selecting two input lines by selecting two lines that means 
for example two input so here it is a one uh, i naught and i1 are two inputs it is a 2 by 1 max that means two inputs one output max here uh, for this selected lines are only one and the output is one uh, for in case of four by uh, 4 by 1 or 4 is to 1 multiplexers the inputs are uh, likewise uh, i naught i1 i2 i3 that means for this selected lines if you if we send a select sel uh, selection lines as 0 0 the output is i naught in case of 0 1 the output is i1 in case of the selection lines are 1 if we give 1 0 as selection lines the output it gives the output is i2 likewise it gives the output and it has uh, it has such mu uh, the, uh, that much of flexibility okay for in case of two inputs if we give zero as selection input the output is i naught if we give one as selection input output is i1 okay and we can uh, write it uh, with expression also for example, 4 is to 1 uh, multiplexer f equal to 0, 0 means a bar b bar into i naught plus 0, 1 means a bar b a bar b i 1 for 1, 0, 1 means a 0 means b bar a b bar i 2 plus 1, 1 means a b a b i 3. Okay, likewise we can write Boolean expression also. For, for 2 is to 1 multiplexer, we can write 0 means a bar i naught plus 1 means a i1 okay and uh, it is uh, it is also called as a data selector very very important it is also called as data selector that accepts several data inputs i already said multiplexer is a it accept number of inputs so it accepts several inputs and allows only one of them at the time to get through the output and it and the output is only one and it is controlled by selection inputs and it is controlled by selection inputs okay normally for two it, it had normally multiplexer has two power n inputs and n selection lines it has only one output two power n input lines and n selection lines and multiplexer is a universal logic gate very very important multiplexer is a multiplexer is a universal logic gate okay universal logic gate and here uh, one of the important question for all the PSUs how many 4 is to 1 multiplexers are required to construct 5 to 1 is to one multiplexer for this for this consider this inputs that means 5 to 1 5 to 1 is divided by 4 divide continuously 5 to 1 by 4 here 128 that means uh, number of uh, 4 is to 1 max required 4 is to 1 max requires here by uh, divided by 4 means 128 so 128 and divided by 4 32 8 2 plus 1 and by add this we can get uh, 171 so total 171 4 is to 1 4 is to 1 multiplexes are required to construct 5 to 1 is to 1 multiplexer okay and the applications of uh, this multiplexer the multiplexers are mainly used in uh, digital communication systems mainly used in digital communication systems uh, for data selection data routing parallel to serial conversion waveform generator ctc okay in the bsnl exchanges also we have number of multiplexers we have number of multiplexers okay because they are using in digital communication okay next topic d multiplexer d multiplexer that is also known as dmux dmux and d multiplexers also called as data distributors very very important d multiplexers are also called as data distributors okay it distributes the data that means it has only one input and it has it has only one input 
and several outputs only one input and several output lines okay not several output several output lines okay the output is uh, only one but it has a uh, number of lines that means uh, we can get any of the uh, any of the line gives the output okay any of the line gives the output for this dmax data in here is the input and here is, these are the outputs that means two power n outputs two power n and outputs and n selection lines okay for in case of multiplexer two power n inputs and n selection lines one output in case of demultiplexer it is reverse that means it has uh, two power n outputs and n selection lines and it is a one to two power n device one to two power n device that means in case of multiplexer two power n is to one device and it has only one input in selection lines and to, uh, and it gives two power n outputs it gives two power n outputs okay once again i repeat what is a d what is a encoder encoder means which converts any uh, formation to coded form coded form and uh, what is decoder decoder means which converts coded form to coded form to decimal or alpha numerical form okay next one uh, multiplexer multiplexer which uh, nothing but multiplexes okay that means many to one circuit in case of demultiplexer it is reverse of multiplexer that means it gives uh, 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 it is a uh, one to many circuit that means only one input several output lines okay okay friends thank you and all the best in next video i will discuss remaining topics of digital circuits okay thank you